a stack of callers waiting on the lines, and, and we've got a couple of more brackets to pick. We're going on until 6.30 at 6.30. Be sure to stay tuned to TV 12 for the actual pairings that will be announced by CBS TV, and it was a great pleasure to interview Jim Nance, Dr. Basketball. Super guy, and I always look forward to his Masters coverage. By the way, here on TV 12, uh, Jim's an all-around sportscaster, believe And me. a teammate at the University of Houston. I've Fred Couples for people who didn't know exactly what uh, you were saying there. Let's go back to the phones real quick, and then we're going to go to the western bracket. Spike, bring it on. Steve Felton, Commissioner, hang on. No lines open. What else is new? Spike. Hey. Hey. Dr. B needs one of them blue dots like that brought in the Kennedy trial. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's wearing blue. What's wrong with the blue hat? That's horrible. Hey, guys, I've been listening for three weeks. You two and Albert <laughs> and this illegal defender in Tony Hawk. Y'all been picking baseball. You had the Atlanta Braves in Kansas City, and you said you're going to be on Channel 12. I yeah. turn it on, you're picking basketball. You never know what we're going to do, Spike. Y'all don't know what sports season you're in. <laughs> <laughs> hey, guys. What's what? That? What's that? Yeah, if you had enough sense to look in the TV guide, they're going to tell you all this at 630. What are y'all doing on here picking all this? Because we're going to do it better than they will. I don't like that guy the other there day. There are a bunch of idiots out there in Kansas City. Yeah, I like that. Like uh, the other day, he said, why do they call it seeds? I don't understand this show. <laughs> and I <plant> garden. <laughs> hey, what? This baseball. You two and Albert and this Tony Hawk. What about it? I know who's going to win that. Who? Nobody. You're all a bunch of losers. <laughs> all a bunch of you. All losers. Let right? me talk to a loser. I want a loser right now. Hey, you watching the TV? Yeah. yeah. You like that blue dot? Hey, that's the way you needed that. Keep that on <laughs> there. Got it here. Hey, they dotted me. They dotted him. Hey, I can't believe they that, dotted me. If that coach, <laughs> if that coach comes at me like that, I'll bounce him off a concrete. You're out of here, Spike. You've done some bouncing, Spike. Spike has done some damage. We've got to go to the west bracket. We've got to go to the west bracket, folks. Steve, Philip, Commissioner, you have patience. We're going to go to the west bracket, and we got uh, Ohio State seated number one in the west, Dr. Basketball. This is why it doesn't make any difference about the Indiana Purdue score. Yeah, the only problem anybody's going to have with that is somebody that says they won the Big Ten over Indiana and they're going to have to travel. Well, one of those two teams is going to have to travel. We think it's going to be Ohio State because Indiana beat them twice during the regular season. They're the number one seed in the West, and they'll go up against an easy, easy mark in Robert Morris, whoever in the heck they are. And then we got, I thought that was some kind of financial deal or something. Iowa State and St. John's, uh, pretty good matchup. Absolutely. Iowa State out of the, probably the strongest conference of them all, the Big Eight. Uh, I would think if they, those two teams played, Iowa State would beat St. John. LSU and this should be Georgia Southern. Georgia Southern as opposed to Georgia State. Again, here's a team, Georgia Southern, that is quite capable of playing LSU off their feet. LSU might be very suspect in that first game. Folks out there, you may not know, but Georgia Southern beat Georgia by 21 this year. Not bad in anybody's game. Oklahoma against Southwest Louisiana, uh, another game that will involve two run-and-gun teams. And Oklahoma uh, can beat this team 40, or it can be one. They're famous for those one-point games could early be, in the tournament. It could be pass. like East Tennessee State Absolutely. played them uh, two or three years ago. Yeah. Now let's go to the other half of the bracket in the West, if we can. Yes, and the number two seed at the bottom, UCLA. The number two seed, not the number one seed, Dr. Basketball, not the number one seed. Can't, Ohio State's a better team. Can't be, and we're going to make the Delaware Mud Hens cross the country and play UCLA, and they'll have a quick trip back. And whoever that caller was earlier on, yes, he was right. Teams like Delaware should not be in this tournament. I, I don't agree. care what kind of uh, charisma they've got. They should be playing uh, hockey or lacrosse or something. Coming up the, up the top, Texas and Stanford. Uh, that's an interesting game, Dr. B. One of the teams that you and I disagreed with, I had Stanford out of the tournament. You talked me into it, but I know there's deep-rooted reasons. That's that. right. But anyway, Texas and Stanford, uh, if it comes about, it'll be a good matchup. Pac-10 is rated as the fifth strongest conference in the power ratings by the committee. Missouri and Montana. Montana, nobody knows much about them out of the big sky. Uh, will that be much of a game? Not much of a game, but where Missouri will be an early exit. 
This will be one of the top-seeded teams that's going out early. They're going to get beat in their second game. They've lost four straight games, by the way, including the first game in the Big 8 tournament. Then Michigan and Houston. Oh, here's my favorite team, Michigan. A sleeper to win the whole thing, or at least to get in the Final Four. Five young freshmen. They're not freshmen anymore. They're mature. They can go on a neutral court and beat anybody in this country. You're kidding me. No. Five freshmen? Five freshmen, and they can go on a neutral court and beat anybody in this country, including Duke. You are insane. Listen to me now. There is no way that I'm five insane. freshmen. I'm yes. not insane. Yes. Crazy, maybe. Let's Crazy. go to the phone. That's right. <laughs> All right. Now, we, we're going to come back with more uh, sport talk here on TV 12. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm getting hot. Dr. Yeah, Dr. Basketball, you're mad at me. By the way, I've got something in store for you when we come back. All right. We'll be right back with more sport talk here on TV 12, NCAA Tourney Edition, in just a minute. And Steve, Philip, Commissioner, you hang on. We'll be right back. If you are just downright sick and tired of old Quail and Bush, then vote for that man with a tattoo on his tush. We like Spike. We like Spike. We'll be to a chant heard around the nation everywhere that is except on Indian reservations. The Jack Eyes and the Dumbo politicians are much less than hardy. Spike is running on the ticket for the sports talk party. That's not what your country can do for you, but what you can do for your country is a slogan of the past. President Spock's motto will be, you better give me my prize or I'll kick your butt. <laughs> and President Spock will make Albert his vice president to ensure himself against assassination. <laughs> We have moved. That's right, the Rib and Loin has moved to their new location on Brainerd Road. The barbecue that was voted the best by the Chattanooga Times is expanding to meet your dining needs. Choose from our variety barbecue beef, chicken, pork, or ribs. Too busy to dine in? Then try our convenient drive through or call our famous number and place your order for quick service. For your last minute planning, let Rib and Loin cater your next business party or social event. Rib and Loin, 5946 Brainerd Road, across from Village BMW. Your time is important, and now more than ever, you want to make the most of it. That's why more people are turning to on-call paging systems for their Motorola paging needs. It's the time-efficient and economical way to stay in touch. On-call paging service features 24-hour emergency replacement, coverage from Atlanta to Knoxville, and hourly information on the stock market, world news, and the latest sports sports. Remember, it pays to be on-call with On-Call Incorporated. Anywhere you go to buy a used car, there's a lot of haggling going on. Happens here at Lawrence Duster, too. But here's what we've done. We have made in an honest attempt to allow you $500 more for your trade-in than any other dealer. And that includes small towns around Atlanta or here in Chattanooga. Now, when you find the Lawrence Duster used car you want, you start off with a $500 haggle-free deal. Makes sense. $500 more means a lot on a trade. Lawrence Duster, downtown. America, get ready for the show that's going to rock the country. It's the Budweiser Rockin' Country Tour, starring Hank Williams, Jr. Sunday night, April 5th at UTC Arena. And there's more. The sensational Patty Loveless. Plus country music's hottest new star, Doug Stone. Who serves his now at the UTC Arena box office or charged by phone. Produced by CPI for Budweiser. Nothing beats a bud. Uh, oh, it's Albert's turn. Albert, bring it on. Denver McNuggan, hang on. One line open on Sport Talk was open. Hello. Hello. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be Spike's vice president, huh? Yeah, yeah. because he didn't want to be assassinated. Well, I'm going to tell you, I might pull the trigger on him myself. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> Welcome back to Sport Talk here on TV 12, NCAA Tourney Pairings Edition. And Dr. Basketball, before we go to the phones, I'd like to uh, thank a couple of people. Uh, first of all, Mr. Dick Dillard, uh, proprietor of Fast Break and Athletic Addict for all these nice hats here uh, that we're using today. That I'm throwing away. That you're throwing some of what you're throwing <laughs> away. Uh, don't worry, Dick, we'll take good care of them. And also I want to thank uh, especially the number one vol, Mr. Ed Gravitt, for providing us with that uh, tape of the Dale Brown incident in the UTLSU fight. Uh, we were able through him to get all those views, and Ed, we thank you very, very much. Okay, Dr. B, I called you insane and so forth. Are we going to go to the phone? Payback phones? time. No, it's payback time before what? we go to the phones. For three weeks, you've been lambasting a young man at Arts and Sciences and saying his ability would never get him a Big Ten scholarship. That's Porter Roberts. You 
Porter Roberts, Morrison Sciences, you and He's your, not good enough to get a you big You and job. your friend, the insider, whoever he is, have wagered that if Porter Roberts signed with a Big Ten team to play basketball, you would come on our show next week clad only in boxer shorts. Is that no correct? No question about it. No question about it. As of this morning, if we can get a close-up on this camera, uh -oh. would you read that for me, please, sir? Patriots Roberts headed for Purdue. Is Purdue in the Big Ten? Purdue is in. Uh, Purdue is hurt. I'd like <laughs> to congratulate Porter Roberts for signing that scholarship. He visited last week and is committed to Purdue. And you, Mr. Haskew, will show your white body. <laughs> I'm heading for the tanning bed tomorrow. No, no, you can't do that because it's going to be Tuesday. Okay. Live with. I will do it. Tuesday. The insider must join me. Yes, Tuesday. Now, on the other hand, I challenge you. For what? If they leave Tennessee out of this tournament, will you wear boxer shorts too? Yeah, yeah, I'll do that. Tennessee's in the tournament, I'm telling you. Regardless right. of what CBS says, they're in the tournament. Tennessee's out of the tournament, you wear them too. Absolutely. All right. Let's go to the Fair phone. enough. Let's go to the phones. Steve, bring it on here, uh, followed by Philip, Commissioner, Hi, and not doing, John. Guys? Fine, Steve. Um, I'm sorry, but it sounds like Doctor's going to be wearing uh, boxer shorts because <laughs> Tennessee's not going. Oh, I hope you're wrong. <laughs> I hope you're wrong. Um, and I think the the big question I have though with with how come they're seated 12th? I mean that means there's you know, 20 teams that are better than them, or 16 teams that are better than them. Yeah, let me tell you why. Are, if, you, if, me, if you look at all these seatings, and I, I've got some notes here, uh, when you take uh, the different conference power ratings. Mm -hmm. And you look at Tennessee's records, and you look at the other teams that are that are uh, actually going to be in the NCAA. The Big Eight, we give six teams. These are the in order of the uh, NCAA committee's power ratings for conferences. First, Big Eight, we give six teams. Big Ten, we give five. ACC five. Great Midwest three. They're rated higher than the SEC, by the way. SEC five teams. Big East five. Pac-10 four. Metro four. Atlantic 10-2. WAC 2, Southwest 2, and the rest of them are these 21 automatics. Which and of those automatics, Evansville seated an 8th, Pepperdine a ninth, and East Tennessee and Georgia Southern and Princeton are all seated 12. We see Tennessee in the same category as East Tennessee, Georgia Southern, and Princeton. So, but they're on the bubble, but if they, if they make it past the bubble, they're going to jump all the way up to a 12 seat. I think so, yeah. Yeah, because like... then you've got Murray State, Southwest Louisiana, yeah. and Eastern Illinois, run. and all those people. Okay, well, just one quick thing. I happen to agree with Jim Nance, and I hate saying this because I'm from Texas, and you know how I feel about Arkansas. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, Arkansas, I think, is with their May Day combination, probably has the best chance. Others to watch, watch out for Kansas, Indiana, and USC. Nice call. Thank you. Thanks a lot, Steve. Okay. Good call. Uh, Philip, bring it on to Sport Talk. Commissioner, not John, hang on. One line open, 756-1212 is that number to call, but you know that already. Die for it, you speed dollars. Hello, Philip. Philip, are you there? Have we lost Philip? Hello. Philip, are oh, you there? Yeah, I was trying to get there, trying to get there. Hey, welcome to Sport Talk. Yeah, thanks. This is my first time checking in with you all. Uh, Good. Hey, we're glad to hear from you. Great, great. I'm uh, I'm from Atlanta, from the Atlanta area. All right. Uh, but I am a uh, born Razorback. Born Razorback. Born, I am a born Razorback. I have a, a little food for thought here. Um, we have Arkansas and Arizona that on paper are the only two teams that are big enough inside and out. And when I say inside and out, inside the paint and outside the arc to deal with Duke. Duke undoubtedly is the, the best team in the nation. Okay? Those are the only two teams that can beat them. I uh, told Dr. Basketball before the show I thought Arkansas, which is going to be one of my final four picks, I'm giving a little hint. Uh, later on in the show, that Arkansas has got the capability of being a dude. I, I want to say that the Arkansas-Alabama game was one of the greatest basketball games I have ever seen in my life. I think those two teams were playing like Final Four teams. I think we need to add Ohio State, uh, Kansas for sure. Uh, probably, I don't know, that's about, about it. How about my sleeper, Who is Cincinnati? Sleeper? Oh, good Lord, they can't play Duke. Cincinnati can oh, play Duke. Dear. Get your shorts. Hey, Philip, did you watch Cincinnati play Memphis State last night? Uh, yes, I have. And and I am uh, a former student at Memphis State, so I do have some sympathy there. But Cincinnati does have a good ball club. Um, I, I want to throw in one other thing right sure. quick. Um, uh, going back to the Dale Brown incident, it was very ugly. Um, 
if there's any possible way in the NCAA where you can find a coach, he needs to be fine. Okay, <laughs> no that's, that's 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 all it is to that. You can you can analyze that situation on and on and on, and we will all have different opinions. But uh, he, there needs to be a financial uh, a hardship for him on on, on that. Um, Are you a Georgetown fan? Uh, yes, I am. That's uh, too bad. It, it, Take a it, look at me. You okay. see that hat? They're gone. They're oh. going out early. They're history. They have, they have no outside place. So <laughs> That's I, I agree exactly right. Dr. Basketball, I do want to jump on your bandwagon for one minute. On your dark horse pick, Michigan, Yeah. you're a good man. All right. Hey, thanks. I like this guy. It sounds like a setup. Like thank you anyway, Philip. Yeah, I'll take care. I don't All know right. the guy, Philip is out of here. Yeah, <laughs> tell me. Guy. I've heard that story before, too. Seven five six twelve twelve is that number to call. It is. Uh, let's see. Not John. Bring it on. The Sport Talk Commissioner Mike, hang on. Not John. Well, good afternoon, gentlemen. Good afternoon yourself, not John. You must have a call. You know, gentlemen, I do have a call. But before I do, let me say that I've been trying to call you for about an hour and a half. Tough to get in, huh? Hard to get through. A popular show, gentlemen. What Sport a good show. Sport Talk on TV twelve. Nothing like it. Nothing like it, nothing like Sport Talk, nothing like TV 12. But anyway, gentlemen, let's get down to the controversy. Shaquille O'Neal in the paint, turn around. Carlos Groves grabs Shaquille in the sleeper hole. O'Neal <laughs> peeved, comes across with an elbow. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to rumble. <laughs> we have a fight on the court. Del Brown off the bench, charges Groves. Groves left jab, Brown counters with a right cross. A fight has ensued, gentlemen. They are going at it, and oh, it will be time for Del Brown to contact, gentlemen, the insurer <laughs> of Tennessee. Good call, not oh, John. Oh, not John, one of your great calls. And of course, Dr. Basketball, we forgot to say, and your big orange, Dodge. Dealer. <laughs> Just for you, Dr. Basketball. Hey, not John, I know you're an Alabama fan. <laughs> Do you think Tennessee will get in the NCAA? Gentlemen, I don't think they have a shot at getting in the NCAA. I don't think they deserve to be in the NCAA. And by the way, I'm going to boycott the tournament if they get in. Okay. No, no, I'm only kidding. I don't think they deserve a shot, though, in the NCAA tournament. I really don't, gentlemen. Thank you, not John. Great call. Thank you. Have a cool afternoon. Have a good afternoon yourself, and bring on the commissioner. Mike, Randy, you hang on. Commissioner. Oh, commissioner, are you there? Well, he's Is this asleep. Commissioner Roy Kramer? He's asleep as usual. He was asleep. All right, guys, can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you now. Uh, how you guys doing? Fine, make it quick. What's up? I agree with Philip. If anything, if anything Who's else... Philip? If anything else should happen to... Your buddy. Oh. ...to Dale Brown... He should be fine. But well, why don't they just bar him from coaching or throw him out for a year? You're a commissioner. What are you going to do? You well, do why it. not both? Well, what do you want to do? You're the commissioner. Fine him and suspend him. Fine him and suspend him. That sounds good to me. That's your job. Right. Thanks, commissioner. Right. Fine him. That's man. good judgment, commissioner, on your part for a change. <laughs> Go back to sleep, commissioner. <laughs> That's right. Where'd we well, maybe, I don't know, but we're going to have to break. We'll be back with more Sport Talk here on TV 12, NCAA Tourney Pairings Edition. And we're going to look at the Midwest Midwest here when we come back on Sport Talk on News Talk 1115. Mike, Randy, you hang on. One line's open. A new sport was born last March here in Chattanooga. It's rattlesnake hunting. You don't give the damn snakes a chance. <laughs> <laughs> Go ask them barehanded and they'll whip you. Oh, I, I know make what you do. Snake you in the water. You get a big 357 bag and blow them away. There's nothing left of them, not even around. I make the snakes 10 to 1. Hey. warmer weather on hand, it's time you had your home central air conditioning unit checked out. Call Service Incorporated at 267-2188 and ask about their special preseason cooling checkup for your central air system. Service Incorporated can also replace your old unit with a high efficiency train air conditioning system. Their five radio dispatch service technicians can do the job quickly and at reasonable rates. 
Be ready for warmer weather with a complete central air inspection from Service Incorporated, your authorized train dealer, 267-2188. It's me. I want to show you a little card trick. Pick a card, any card, and I'll tell you what it is. Um, Jack of Hearts, right? Now here's the new 1992 Chevrolet Lumina from Herb Cox. Lumina seat six, plus you get a V6 engine, air conditioning, and more. Herb's low price is only $12,995. What? You want to pick another card? Wait, no, no, no! Well, I told you it was a trick. <laughs> Herb Cox Chevrolet. Sunshine's beautiful bedrooms and waterbeds has lost their lease. The entire million-dollar inventory of name brand bedroom furniture and waterbeds must be liquidated immediately. Everything must go. Solid oak, cherry, maple, pine, and more. All styles will accommodate any type bedding, from interspring mattresses to waterbeds. Largest selection of quality bedroom furniture available. Choose from more than 30 different two-type flotation mattresses. Easy in-store financing. Sunshine's beautiful bedrooms moving sale now. Lee Highway across from Target and Red Lobster. Welcome back to Rock and Roll Sport Talk here on TV 12. We're rocking, we're rolling. Dr. Basketball here with our Dick Vitale Fight Show. Is that your Dick Vitale imitation? No, this is a Jay Price imitation. This is a Jay Price or the Dale Brown. Dale Brown is coming up from behind, right? Dale Brown's too old to do what he did, I'll tell you that. No Way question too old. about it. How old is Dale? You know, people should know that he's been one of the biggest satchels for years, but that's another story, another show. All right, welcome back to Sport Talk here on TV 12. We're going to go to the Midwest region for our final region. We've got Mike, Randy, and the Kentucky Bed Hunter holding. You guys hold a second. Let's go through this region, and then we'll be quickly, right to the phone. Quickly. Kansas, number one seed in, the miss, uh, in this region. I am opposed to this. I think they should have been seeded somewhere else, number one. I've, I overruled We talked about that. Jim Nance agreed with you, and you overruled me. All right. Kansas, number one seed against Mississippi Valley State, eight and nine. Wake Forest, yes, we let them in against Pepperdine. Now, Pepperdine is a very good team, a good. very good team. Beat, uh, played Kansas a one-point game at Kansas, Dr. B, and has won 15 out of their last 16 Good games. team and capable of beating Wake Forest. And come here way. next uh, year, by the way, to play our mock. Michigan State seeded five against Princeton. Now, here's a game that's a possible upset if it comes about. Princeton, you talk about a 40-point game game's, this time. This game's may be in the 40s. Absolutely. They, they can beat Michigan State here. And then you've got Florida State against Northeast Louisiana. That one will be a route. Florida Watch State, out. fourth seed. Watch out. Northeast nah. Louisiana played nah. Louisiana State, nah. LSU, a one-point game at LSU nah. early in the season. Can't All right, happen. The, the other part of the bracket, please. Now, down at the bottom, Southern Cal, number two seed virtual, vir, by virtue of their win over Arizona uh, at Southern Cal against Eastern Illinois. Uh, be an easy victory for Southern Cal. They got a good chance to come out of this bracket, by the way. That's a good team. Raveling's got a good team. Seton Hall and UNC Charlotte. UNC Charlotte uh, loses to Tulane in the Metro, but it was a very close game. A very good team in Charlotte. Seton Hall uh, in a weak Big East year. Not that good. Your sleeper, Cincinnati, up to a number three seed against Southwest Missouri State. I like Cincinnati. I think that Cincinnati can knock off Kansas. I think that's that's the one team that I see in this bracket that can knock off Kansas. Hail Mary, BYU against number six seed, Nebraska. Just jump all over BYU, folks. That's going to be an upset if it comes about. Why do you think so? BYU is a, a, a good team, very disciplined, very white, if we can say that. Yeah, we, I just said it. Uh, Nebraska, overachiever. Cannot, they, they won't go anywhere. Big eight team. And by the way, Duke, all you Duke fans, I'm back on camera. You're not going to win it. You're out of here, Duke. Is Tennessee going to win it? Tennessee. You're not going. You're not going to throw them out, are you? Keep them right here. That's right. I'm going to keep them right here. Who do you pick to win it, by the way? Uh, who do I pick to win it? Before we go to the phone. The Arkansas Razorbacks. I like Kansas. Let's go to the phone. Okay, let's go to the phones. Mike, bring it on. Randy, Kentucky Bed Hunter, you hang on. Uh, no lines open. Okay, uh, I have a question for uh, Doctor Basketball. I agree on two things that he's done, but on one of them I don't agree. All right. The Georgetown hat, <laughs> I'm from Washington, D.C. We love the Hoyas. You love them. You love right. those Hoyas. Okay, the Duke hat, you should have threw that outside on Broad Street somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> okay. That's since, great. Okay, since uh, the center for LSU Shaquille O'Neal, since the nucleus of the team focusing on Shaquille O'Neal and the uh, situation happened the other night with the Vols, do you think Dale Brown should be suspended during the tournament 
or you think that they should take action after the tournament is a over? After the tournament's over. It's obvious, uh, Mike, that after the tournament's over is when they'll have to take action since uh, uh, Kramer issued that soft reprimand against him. And can you believe his athletic director, Joe Dean, actually was quoted as saying he was out there to make peace after viewing that video? Make peace by grabbing a man like Hulk Hogan and put him in a chokehold? That's exactly right. Okay. The, guy, the guy needs to be suspended for a year, in my opinion. Okay, one more question. Ray Charles could have seen better than that. <laughs> okay, one more question. Yeah. Okay, uh... This one is uh, for Jerry, right? You got me. Okay, uh, Porter Robbins said Arson Signs. <laughs> yeah. Okay, uh, I hope everybody gets to see you in the boxing shows, brother, because... Uh, well, I'll tell you what, uh, TV12 is going to send a crew out there to make sure that this is recorded for posterity. Okay, yeah. I can uh, assure you. Now, I'm, I'm happy for Porter, and I've said that before, that I wished him the best. I just think that's going to uh, an indication of the fact that Purdue's not in this tournament, uh, he's a fine young man, a fine student, a fine athlete, but I don't think he's a major Division One player. That's just my opinion, but now he's signed with Purdue, and I congratulate him, and I'm going to wear those boxer shorts, and I'm going to pay my debts. Okay. Uh, all the thing i got to say is go Brandon and Howard in the state tournament. Absolutely. Right, Take thanks. care. Thank you. Thanks a lot. All right, Randy, bring it on. Kentucky Bet Hunter, hang on. One line open, 756-1212 is the number to call here on TV12 Sport Talk. Hey, Randy. Hello, guys. How you doing? We're doing fine. Welcome. You got Dr. B and the music man. Hey, Randy. Well, it's amazing about uh, the Defender there a minute ago. I've been trying to get through. You know, don't ever buy one of these uh, phones from, uh, well, I won't mention the company, but <laughs> you just can't get through no, on no. the redial. Well, it always gives you one of those stupid uh, recordings, you know what I mean? Well, you need to get one of those uh, Gravedigger rocket phones. What can we do for you? Well, uh, you know, the thing about what the Defender said, it kind of made me kind of upset, was that, uh, you know, Dale Brown didn't have his... You know, his hand in a fist? Well, how yeah, he can, did. Well, you know, do you have to have your hand in a fist to hit somebody? I mean, unless you're a woman, you know, you're going to slap somebody. Yeah, he was doing a lot of shoving, too. And, his uh, hand usually, was in a fist on the second shot. No question about that. And Carl usually, Stroh's blocked it beautifully, by the way. And usually, you know, when a, when a coach is out on the court to try to keep Ooh. their players from, uh, from having any kind of altercation, you usually see his back. Did you ever see his back? No. I mean, you know, he was coming right at Carlos Groves, and uh, I'm yes, I'm a Tennessee fan, but, you know, I, I sat and waited just like the rest of our uh, audience and, and you folks did for 20 minutes, uh, waiting to hear that Dale Brown had been injected from the game. He wasn't, I mean. He wasn't even reprimanded then. It was just the next day that Commissioner uh, Kramer reprimanded. Just a terrible decision. And a Kramer, terrible no decision. What kind of guys is Kramer? I mean, come on, guys. From Vanderbilt, what does that tell you? I mean, it's, well, oh, don't say any more. Risley from there. Uh -oh. Thanks, uh -oh. Randy. See ya. We got to run. Kentucky Bad Hunter, bring it on. Hey, guys, how's it going? Fine. Welcome to Sport Talk here on TV 12, Kentucky Bad Hunter. Thank you. I didn't Congratu like it when they put the Congratulations on your big win over Alabama today. Well, thank you very much. We, we worked hard for it, and for Kentucky to be able to win that tournament, they had to get real lucky, and everything fell into place for them, and it worked out for them. And I didn't like it when they put that blue dot on your... Uh, on your head there, because you were wearing a Kentucky hat, Dr. Well, you look at me now. Yeah. Oh, I know. Go Cats. Guess what? And they beat them earlier. They